Good morning. It is 6.28 a.m. on Monday, June 6th, 2022. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Uh, went to bed marginally earlier last night, but the trick is that Rocket tends to want to wake up like if we go to bed earlier he wants to wake up earlier and it's just a whole thing where even if it is earlier than my alarm is set for like once he has woken me up and I need to pee and then he wants to go outside it's the whole thing so I'm actually up a bit earlier even than I really kind of wanted to be but I decided that in the interest of trying to get my sleep schedule shifted back I'm not going back to sleep so, here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Uh, <laughs> I have been... Whoa, yikes. See? that's that's That was the alarm that I was supposed to have. <laughs> I thought I had turned it off. Um, where was I? I don't even remember now. Oh, um, I was just thinking how today I've been... Um, I've been putting off for a while that it's probably time for me to get a new car. Um, not, you know, new, new, but like new for me. And um, I don't know. It's just like, technically speaking, my car is working fine-ish for now. And so, like, it's not pressing for me to get the new one. But it's also the question becomes is like, okay, but do I want to wait until it's a crisis? I mean, that's not really the right thing. You know, if I've decided that it's probably the right thing that I should uh, get a new car, you know, the idea that it's uh, something I should, you know, like if it's the right thing, then waiting until my car has some sort of a profound repair issue it needs isn't really the right answer and yet without something making it actually pressing I have found myself procrastinating on it and you know like you can even make a financial case for it in the sense that I've got a car that's paid off and you know the sooner I get a newer car the sooner I'm making payments again but at the same time it's also my car's air conditioning currently doesn't work. You know, it's also, you know, it's an older car and it's increasingly, you know, likely to have some needed repair issue that might strand me or something like that. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm like, I'm torn primarily with only the effort required being the only reason not to go ahead and proceed with doing the new new car thing but uh so i need to just kind of get over that but i have not yet done so what are you gonna do right in any event i am uh you know starting a new week i'm gonna see if i can get my sleep schedule back under control and uh yeah that's kind of where i'm at so Partly because I got caught up on the new season of The Boys on Amazon, I decided yesterday to rewatch Superman, the movie, the 1978 Christopher Reeve movie, which, you know, I love. It's a, it's a weird movie in a lot of respects, you know, typical of movies from the time period the pace is pretty leisurely compared to modern superhero or action movies but there's just so many pieces of it that like that's another movie that I think I might have some difficulty approaching it too critically just because so much of it feels <laughs> rocket is uh if you saw my microphone stand move that's because rockets leaning on the base of it uh where was i oh just so many pieces of superman the movie that are strange or or whatever but like i 
in my head, I make excuses for all of that because it's just that's just how that movie is. But ultimately, I think what comes comes down to is that when I think of Superman in my head, that's the version of Superman that I like. So, I don't know. I like it. I'll leave it there. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.